Uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to the current session. In this, I'll talk about SOAP protocol. How SOAP protocol can be used uh, with SOAP UI, right? And what is SOAP protocol basically? Uh, look, the thing is, the most challenging part of SOAP UI to learn SOAP UI is to get an application which is implementing any REST or SOAP protocol. Basically, to get an application which is made in web services. If you want to learn Selenium, if you want to learn QTP, then the complete internet is in front of you. You can open up any website and learn it. But the most challenging part of SOAP UI is the application. Now, at times people tend to go towards this website known as webservicex.net. Fine. In this website, there are a lot of web services available like stock, code, currency, conversion, global weather. Look, I say that fine. Initially, it is fine uh, if you want to learn through this site. There are a lot of web services available, but practically you cannot learn because the web services which are present on this website they are very small. Okay, so I'll tell you our own customized web service as well. But let me give you an example of a web service, right? For example, this is a currency conversion web service. If you click on this link. It will give you the list of currencies which are available around the world, right? And this is the WSDL link which he has given. Okay, what is a WSDL link? If I open this link, then this is WSDL for this per particular currency conversion web service. It tells you uh, what kind of request will go, what kind of response will come, and all that stuff, right? Uh, let me give you a better example. Right. I have a local web service application deployed on my machine, right? Which you guys can also download, right? If I open up that one local host slash retail, uh, retail.php. Yeah. So I'll tell you how to download this application as well. In one of the modules, it is explained, right? This is a retail web application which I am using, and it's running on my local. I'm using this application because the web services available on the internet are not smart enough, or are not big enough, or they don't have those features which are actually used in the industry, right? So this is a retail application in which you can log in into the application. This is like a retail store wherein you can add a category. Under a category, you can add a product, update the product, get all products, search a product. Fine. Generally, you have a retail OS commerce store, right? It is something like that. You can log in into this application as a normal customer. You can log in as an administrator. As a customer, you can only shop. You can only uh, check out. You can only uh, add to cart, remove to cart. You can search the product. You can get all the products. But as an admin, you can log in and you can add a category. You can update a product. You can add a product under a certain category, right? So there are various web services. I'll talk about them, right? But the important thing is. This link WSDL. This link describes all the web services, right? For example, Add Product Details is a particular web service in which you get product ID, product name, available quantity, and price. Right? Hold on. Let me tell you a practical example, and then I'll come over to it. Right? I'll copy the path of this WSDL to test any. Web service which is made in SOAP protocol, you need to have WSDL. This is SOAP protocol, right? This application is made in SOAP protocol. In SOAP protocol, we have got a WSDL file which describes the complete application. It's basically an XML file. Fine. If you don't have the WSDL file location or the WSDL file URL with you. Then you cannot test any SOAP based application. Fine. What I'll do is I'll copy this WSDL URL. I'll open up SOAP UI free version. Okay. And I'll create a new SOAP UI project over here and paste the WSDL out here. So automatically the name comes up over here retail. It is picked up from the WSDL itself, right? I'll call it as SOAP protocol. I'll, I'll rename the project to SOAP protocol. Fine. Now you'll see that as soon as you name it, 
you get a retail band app binding interface under that you have got all the services which are available with this product with, with this project these are all the web services right what i'll do is hold on i'll, I'll come over to this services as well i'll create i'll right click over here i'll create a new test suite in my project test suite 1 and inside this test suite i'll add a test case right look i'm not testing anything right now i'm just explaining you the soap protocol now under test case you can add a test step and you can add a, a soap test request test step this is there are multiple test steps groovy script in, in this we write the groovy script and all properties properties transfer rest http mock response jdbc lot of them we will we'll study them right let's keep the soap test request test step fine now every test step has to be mapped with an operation which is or with a web service which is available in the project in our project this retail web service project hold on uh, there are number of web services available one of the major ones is retail login this is the first service right in this you can log in into the application fine so what you'll do is you will map the retail login web service over here click on ok and i'll name it as login request right as soon as i click on ok this login request will come up over here in soap ui the xml will be formed the soap protocol xml starts with soap and envelope tag like this okay and it's got fields like username and password which has to be sent now from where these username and password fields are picked up these are actually picked up from the wsdl file which you had picked up <coughs> in the beginning of the uh, project this is the username and password right described in the wsdl file for the login request so it's actually picking up from here and instead of question marks you can actually write the username and password with which you log in into soap ui website so i hope you guys have installed this application if you have not i'll tell you how to do it fine uh, if you log in into your accounts it will be there you can install it from there right so when you run this you will see a response coming up over here login username session id is also returned okay generally the session id comes in the header but i have kept it over here in the beginning so that you can actually understand what happens with this session id you establish a session in all the subsequent requests the web service requests which you will be sending to the server you will be sending this session id along with it the server sends back the role that is you are logging in as a customer into the application if you are logging into the application as a customer you cannot add the products add the categories you cannot do anything with the store you can just buy the products check out all that stuff fine and this is the status login status is that you are logged in right if you want to log in into this application as a admin you can write underscore underscore soap admin over here in front of your username and when you run this web service by clicking on the icon over here in the response that you will get the role as a admin that means you can modify the products as well so this is a simple soap protocol based request and response soap protocol is a very formal protocol okay it's got a soap envelope tag and all and all that stuff inside it right if i take up now let me go to the web services x.net fine let me go to the website webservicesx.net over there i told you that hold on it's taking a little time to load uh, yeah i had to, uh, talked about this currency converter web service right i am not sure whether it will be working or not let us try it out 
और या करेंसी कन्वर्टर दिस इज द डब्ल्यू एस डी एल यू आर एल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेस्ट अ वेब सर्विस यू शुड बी हैविंग डब्ल्यू एस डी एल यू आर एल विद ऑफ द वेब सर्विस यू कॉपी दिस डब्ल्यू एस डी एल यू आर एल एंड गो टू सोप यू आई फाइन एंड आई मेक अ न्यू सोप यू आई प्रोजेक्ट पुट द यू आर एल इन इट गेट द प्रोजेक्ट नेम इंस्टेंटली एंड यू हैव होल्ड ऑन इट इज लोडिंग विदिनेशन द सर्विस इज लिटिल स्लो द वेबसाइट इज लिटिल स्लो right so you have this currency converter it's got two interfaces conversion rate what i'll do is i'll add a new test suite inside it inside the test suite i'll add a new test case this is the application which even i think you can you can you guys can work with but it's not a big application right you add a test request map it to conversion rate fine so i'll write over here i want to convert from usd to say gbp and when you run this i'm not sure whether i've given the right terminologies or not i'm waiting for the response yeah the response comes up like this that the conversion rate from usd to gbp is this so this web service is somewhere on the internet on web services x.net right it is running but it's a very simple web service right no session id nothing is just one input parameter some set of input parameters some set of output parameters but it runs on soap protocol right now the point to understand over here is that in soap protocol there are specific tags just by looking at the tags you can say that this is the soap protocol right there is a soap header tag soap body tag in the header tag generally we keep the session id and all and all that stuff right okay um as again i'll repeat again the problem with this web service is the web service a web service is available on this website web services x.net firstly they are very simple secondly you don't have any control over the database okay for example in my retail web service over here which is this one so protocol based i implemented a login request right suppose i add a new test request so request known as add category right in this you can add a category in your store you have to pass over the username and session id session id i got it from login request you can take the session id once you are logged in you have the session id so from my login request i put the session id over here manually but you can also put it automatically with the help of groovy scripting i'll tell about that later on you send the username and this is the category details tag you put a category over here that is i want to add a category known as pictures in my store so when you run this request you get a response like this that is category name uh, session invalid okay did my session go invalid hold on let me run the login request again get the session id hold on underscore underscore soap admin this was a login username right i gave the wrong uh, as an administrator i can add the products not as a customer so the username for administrator was this this is the login request this is the session id right now when i run this request the response comes up that is pictures has been added category has been added and category id is 11 this category id is returned back by the system by the web service that is pictures has been added as a category in the store and this is the category id now the good part about this application is that you have the database in the database if i write over here select star from category you will actually see the pictures category with the category id as 11 right it's been inserted into the database now you can write the groovy script which can validate this 
values these values from the database as well right so the point to be noted over here is that everything is xml based in xml also everything is based on the soap protocol right you have a beautiful application in which you have the control over the database as well right you can connect with the database with the help of groovy you have got session management and all which is not there in the applications which are on the website like web services x.net or xyz.net because you know practically it is very difficult to get applications which are web service based and which are available freely right okay now let's talk about soap protocol in sorry rest protocol in soap protocol we saw that this is the kind of uh, structure for soap protocol request right the rest protocol is more free in nature right rest protocol i'll talk about it now hold on 